What's going on Cubs? It's your boy Bear here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new Fortnite video. We have more information on Season 4 and I'll be bringing you the 4 things that we've just found out today about Season 4. This comes from Fortnite Intel. I'll be leaving their website in the description below. But there was a report that was leaked out from Internet Adam and it's, he's a very reputable source. We've gotten information from him in the, in the past so it's very likely to believe but I want to make sure you guys understand completely like this is pure speculation. This is leaked information. None of this has been confirmed at all yet. It even says that on the website. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is the fact that the meteor will be hitting Dusty Depot and not Tilted Towers as a lot of people believe. Yes, Tilted Towers is a big place that a lot of us like try to tend to most of the map and most of the games tries to go towards because it is the place to get the most action but it takes away from a lot of other different locations to whereas the map mid game can feel very stagnant so you know uh, dusty depot as the developers have said it had needed work for a very long time and i know me and my friends tend to only go there every now and then and it's kind of a place that nobody tends to veer to on a regular basis so therefore they're going to just go ahead and knock that out and hopefully add some symmetry to the map you know Tilted has that one big spot on the left side of the map, and then we'll have Dusty Depot on the right side of the map. So hopefully that's what we'll get from that. At number two, we have the map will always be evolving. So every week in Season 4, the map is going to change. They feel like they wasted an opportunity with Tilted Towers going up all at once, and they should have made had bulldozers and cranes raising one week, and then the buildings going up the next, and they should have evolved the map continuously. So the map will be consistently changing almost every week in then Season 4. So that's going to be something truly incredible. It's going to be definitely something historic. And so years later or months later or seasons later when people look back they can say oh you know I saw this map there are these changes happening so you'll definitely in the future be able to have those memories to go on so that's pretty cool also we have this big thing and it's personally saddening for me because I really I really enjoy Moisty Meyer but they said that Moisty Meyer will be gone G-O-N-E by the end of season four. So that's going to be absolutely crazy. That is the biggest area on the map. If you actually go look at the, the map, you, you will see that Moisty Meyer is the biggest area on the map. So that being said, it's going to be crazy for that to go. And I cannot wait to see what they do with that area. Or if they're going to take out half of it and add two locations with one half and the other half of it. All I know is it's going to be absolutely crazy. My biggest, one of my biggest concerns is like wondering if like, you know, how they have the disco floors and stuff like that. Is that going to stay even though we're in season three? Like, I feel like that's going to be pretty cool. So there's that. And the fourth one, but finally, not least that, but I already covered a video on that. And that'll also be in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But the season four battle pass is going to be superhero themed, but we have a little bit more information. People have been speculating that since there's, you know, certain ties to DC that they could be DC heroes I've heard people say there's Wonder Woman there's Flash none of those characters are either there's no affiliation with Marvel or DC so we don't have to worry about any of that but there's going to be at least two villain skins and two hero skins for the battle pass owners so that's gonna be awesome to work our way up to and I can't wait to see if the tier 100 skin is a battle pass like a I Emmy mean, is a villain or a hero it's gonna be absolutely epic to see um, that, so that's pretty much it. I'm super excited about Season 4 because of everything that's going to be changing and how we're, the map is going to be changing as we know it. And so because they're updating it weekly, we're not. The stress of having a new map, unlike PUBG, is, gonna, is not going to be as intense. So we'll be able to consistently have fresh new stuff to deal with on a weekly basis, and that's going to be absolutely incredible. If you guys are as hyped as I am, then make sure you guys leave a comment down below telling me just how hyped you are. And if you guys want your own free battle pass, then make sure you guys enter the giveaway by clicking that sub button, and you guys will be entered in the giveaway for 2,500 V-Bucks on April 30th, just three days away. So go ahead and get your subs in and tell your friends in. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and if you guys like the video, make sure you guys try to hit this video with 10 likes. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.